So I completed to install tiles here, as you can see, in this area. And here, and what I want to do, I want to put a threshold in a corner here. This threshold I'm going to use, it's called Jolly, it's coming from, it's coming from Schluter. And as you can see here, I, by getting close to it, you can see I just put it temporary just to show you what's going to happen here because I'm going to install tile here in this area. Okay, and I already prepared the tiles here. You can see here, this is the tiles I'm going to install here in this area. So what I want to show you today is how to uh, construct or install an uh, outside corner, as you can see here, uh, using um, a threshold, it's a trim from Schluter. Uh, the only way I can use it because I don't have a bull nose, so I have to use uh, this uh, uh, trim. So this trim is a satin nickel trim, and it's uh, actually that's what I choose because it suits to my tile color. To install this threshold, what I did, I first cut it to fit. So if you can look here, we can close this area here. You can see there is another threshold here, which I'm going to install also, but this is not installed yet, and this tile is not really installed, I just put it here. And you can see here, if you get me close to it, you can see this threshold is touching the other threshold, that's very important, that they will be exactly fit. And upstairs you can see it's reaching until the end here. And here I'm going to put another tile. Let's go from here. So everything is actually designed to fit. And let's see what's going to be the result after I'm going to install it. So before I'm going to install tile in this area, as you can see, I actually put here tape, blue tape here. That's in order to protect this area. Here's the tiles. I don't you don't really need to put here thin set. And clean it after that, so it's very easy to put here a tape to protect it and then to remove it after that. I'll show you after that. My blue tape is finished, so I'm using this tape. It's just temporary to protect the tiles that heal from thin set. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spread the thin set on the wall, 30 degrees. I'm using grey color because I don't have the white color. That's the way it's look after I actually smooth it with this towel, so it's look very, very smooth. So you see what I did, I actually removed the tapes. And you can see how clean it is now. So before I'm installing the tile here, as you can see, I have to make the pattern. This is very important. It's always good to do it. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to use this 3-8 trowel just to scratch it properly. Actually, I level it. from this side. I'm using this as a spacer actually, it's one eighth of an inch. And that's the first time I'm going to put. And 
that's the second time. As you can see here, the Tanya, second time. You have to use space of those though. One of an inch. And one of an inch. After I install these tiles here, but you see, I'm going to actually install this threshold that I can put here now. Just push it in. After I put it inside, I'm using this level just to level it with the tiles here. You can see here, I will continue putting here, I don't have any problem because it's straight here. That's most important. So here is another angle to see how it's going. There is a Small space, I put 116 in between this threshold and this threshold. 116 inch. So you can see how spread our level it is. You can see it here. It must be level, that's very important. It must be flat. With flesh with this tile here. This is quite important. So that only this level will make it. This is the other area, you have to make it level. Using this tool, I just make it perpendicular to each other. Using this brush, I can go now and clean between space. Even if it's a very small space, it's very easy to clean. If there is any inside here. Really there is nothing almost. I want to show you from close proximity here. Here I already put it, already did it, so you can see how it looks from here. And now here I putting it. So what I'm doing now you can see I'm actually using this trowel just to force to force the tin set wherever the threshold on the threshold you see the threshold you have in the threshold you have this kind of holes so you really want to fill them up with tin set you see here I'm filling it up with tin set so that's what I'm doing and very soon I'm going to fill it up just correct uh, this team set so you can see what I'm doing here the most important is to fill up the holes these holes that you see here with team set as you can see just to fill it up with team set this power Thirty degrees. I'm using the 3.8 trowel. I want to show you how it looks 
from close proximity after I flat it with a trowel and I use 30 degrees to flat the pin set here as you can see and you can see the way it's looked familiar Using this brush, cleaning the spaces between the pressure, you can see pressure to the tile here. You can see how dirty it is. So here the corner, I just want to show you how it's looking close. And that is actually after 12 hours. So when you tie outside corner, what you have to maintain is the tile from this side of the corner has to be perpendicular to each other. They have to be flat with the pressure and they have to be level or flat. So if I will take this level and move it here, and I move it here, it will move smoothly. I'm using here the pressure from Schnutter here as you can see the pressure actually is almost flash with the tire from here and here it's actually a little bit below them a little bit maybe one sixteen of an inch and if I will take 90 degrees this kind of tools I make sure that both sides of the corner are perpendicular to each other. So that's it, that's done. If you follow the rules that I said before, when you're tiling outside corner, you will be successful.